Hello YouTube. It's been a really long time since I've made a video with this computer, my clone of the Altair 880 Micro. I wanted to pull this uh, computer out of uh, our uh, storage room and uh, get it running and run Star Trek 80 so you guys can see it. Uh, so here it is, Trek 80. Boom. Okay, so we have a little bit of um, automation here of the uh, the Enterprise sort of flying across the screen. I'm not sure why it needs to have a number entered in, um, I guess, to key the random number generator off of. Okay, so we start out, and uh, there's a Klingon ship on our short range uh, radar and so because of that it turns that little data display at the bottom of the screen red okay and uh, I think before I do anything else I'm gonna turn the shields on and we'll give it some juice there in case uh, now I'll do menu command and let's just uh, Let's get the heck out of Dodge here, right? We could stay and fight this guy, um, but until I remember more about how to play this game, I'm just gonna look to get out of here. I think one is going this way, two, three, uh, and so four, five. Let's just go one, and warp factor one, I'll move one whole screen at a time, and hopefully, yeah. Okay, so I've moved away from a Klingon, um, and so now my display is green and lucky for me um, That B symbol where on the previous screen the K symbol was showing the Klingon ship the B symbol is showing the uh, base our home base And so if I get up next to that base, I'll be able to recharge all my supplies now the game just started so uh, and, and I gotta remember how to do this, right? Um, the game just started and all my supplies are pretty high, so I really don't need anything. But let's see if I can connect to the base and we'll reclaim some of the energy that we lost by, uh, by doing that warp. So I'll nav and we want to go direction one, but we want to go one, two, three, four, five. I'll try point five. Uh, it probably won't let me do that. I lied. Okay. Uh, uh, look at the total energy is up, right? Um, so I must be docked with um, home base. Yeah, and look, condition docked. Okay. So now, let's see what we can do. So we obviously don't want to quit the game just yet, but we have this option to do com. That's to use the computer. And let's see if we can do... Oh, crap. It doesn't... Uh, it's not letting us do the computer. Okay, computer record of the galaxy. So if you do computer um, zero, it shows you a history of the total game grid where you've been so far. And these numbers are like signifying, I guess like how many stars are in the star field, right? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six in the one where we are now. So that must be the last number is how many um, stars there are. The middle number is one if there's the base there. And then zero in our case is how many Klingon ships. And in the previous screen, there was one Klingon ship and one star, right? So here I'm gonna do um, short range scan is just this screen here. Long range scan will show us just a little bit around. So we haven't been to these areas yet, but it can see and tell us. And because we just figured out this um, numbering system, and that tells us there's zero Klingon ships in any of these bottom ones, the outlier top ones. We already knew there's a Klingon ship there, but there's apparently one above us. And there's not one to the right. So if we nav over, navigate, direction one and we go 0.5 
now we're in this other quadrant and we see the two stars, right? Which is what this notation told us. Zero Klingons, no base, and two stars. That's how Star Trek works, okay? So now if we do a long range scan again, now we can see a little bit further, all right? There's no Klingons there. Uh, let's do our menu again. What else? We've got phasers. Torpedoes. Torpedoes, you have to use the computer to calculate the exact math to give it the proper coordinate. And then you can knock out a Klingon ship with a torpedo. That's kind of fun. Uh, I believe you've got a number of torpedoes. You've got 10. Um, phasers, on the other hand, it doesn't matter where the ship is. Phaser must just send out a lightning bolt or something. I was never a big Trekkie. Uh, growing up, I watch a show every now and then, but I don't remember the weapons. But anyways, that's not really a directional thing. So you can use phasers and it'll just knock out a Klingon. That's what I'll do. I'll go back and knock out a Klingon ship. But um, it uses a lot of energy when you do that. Um, we've showed you the nav command. Uh, short range scan, long range scan. Um, shields, we took the shield, we put the shields up, right? So when we put the shields up, that protects us if the Klingon ship tries to hit us, but we've got shields. It'll... Oh, I thought I put the shields on. What the heck? Oh, maybe when you go to base, you have to turn your shields off automatically. I bet you that's it. Okay, so... How do we refresh this screen here? Um, let's do damage control. Damage control, if you get into a fight with a ship... Um, and you don't have your shields up, you'll get some damage, and then it takes some random number of turns um, until um, your damage is repaired. And I want to say every now and then you'll just get like you know damage, just something will break. Too, you don't have to be in a fight, and then you'll have to wait for it to be fixed. So if our warp engines are bad, we can't move anywhere, or or we're only able to move in like um, uh, what you call it. Um, uh, fractional increments so we can move around in the screen but we can't really warp multiple um, the library computer can be used to compute a long-range warp we could go from one side of the galaxy to the other uh, let's see but you know if, the, if your torpedoes are damaged you can't fire torpedoes until the damage is fixed so anyways let's do something that's more fun than just me babbling right so let's go um, we're currently here. Let us, we will motor on over to where this Klingon is. So remember I said, this is one, two, three. We want to go four. And we want to go one whole direction, one whole warp uh, over to the next cube. So nav, course four, warp one. And that should put us in condition red. Okay. And then here's all those stars, and there's the Klingon ship. So what we're going to do is let's um, let's do phasers, and we'll do 500. Okay, that destroyed the phasers, um, but it used up 162 units of energy. And notice once we destroyed the Klingon ship, now our sector is green. And I believe that the goal of this game is to kill all the Klingons in a um, in some number of turns. So, oops, I don't know what. Oh, okay, zero 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 apparently is another way to do the menu command. But I want to do computer and. Okay, so computer one is the status report, nine Klingon. And look, 25.5 star dates, which I'm not quite sure how, if each turn, each turn is less than um, 1.0 star dates, because I know you can play this thing for more than 25 turns. Um, let's see, computer, and we'll go to two. Sensors show no enemy. Okay, maybe that's another way to detect if there's enemies if your short range uh, scanners are out. Three, uh, no star bases. K, 
Okay, computer four, direction distance calculator. Okay, so this is if you wanna do um, a long range warp, I guess. Okay, um, computer five, I hopefully, Oh, hey, check it out. Okay, so this is like a, a general map of the overall galaxy. Computer. I'm looking for where to compute torpedo. Oh, look at that. Okay. Photon torpedo data. Okay. That tells me... I must have been entering in some wacky stuff because I don't think we saw all this stuff. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so it wouldn't give us the torpedo coordinates because there's no enemy ships in the quadrant. So this is not a replacement for the uh, short-range scanner. Anyways, um, how about this? Uh, I've been blathering on for 14 minutes now. I will go find a um, Klingon ship and then we'll, we'll blow them up with the computer um, and a torpedo, right? So let's go long range scan. Here is a Klingon ship or there's one up here. Let's go to the top, right? So we'll nav, okay, direction two, warp factor one, up, oh, damage control damaged, okay. We must have hit a star. Maybe that damaged us. Nav, uh, two, three, um, direction three. Let's go 0.5. Library computer state of repair improved. I hope that doesn't mean we can't use our computer to compute torpedoes. Oh, okay. Uh, nav, whoop, direction one. One condition red. Here we go. All right, computer uh, two direction. Okay, so torpedo um, two point eight three three. Oh shit! Uh, star got us. Let's uh. Let's nav one, two, three, four, five, point two. Uh, see that? Uh, he uh, he hit us. He nailed our uh, our shield. Now what the heck? I can see where he is directly. One, two, three. I don't need the computer to tell me, right? Um, he was directly above us, so we shot him down. Anyways, I've gotten stupidly long-winded on this, but I just wanted to play through the game of Star Trek a bit and show off this computer a little bit and show off the colors and the animation in this game uh, for uh, my buddy Costas. And, uh, and that's it.